She has really just peaked at the right time. We talk about that really over and over. The Olympic Games, it is the pinnacle of an athlete's career. Not just making it here, but when you are as strong as she is in the all-around competition, you want to win. You don't want to just come out here and compete. And we start on vault with Suni Lee. Definitely one of the favorites for the gold medal tonight. But this is where she really needs to jump out, and she can be much better on vault than we've seen her at the Olympic Games thus far. Has been battling with an ankle injury for about two years. Wow. And that was probably the best vault that I have ever seen her do. That was really good. Really explosive. She had a much better body position coming into the floor and pretty much a darn near stuck landing. So take a look. She'll stretch back onto the table and get that block. Legs are together. Just a little bit of a feet separation when she lands. And it, yeah, it was, it was pretty much a stick. Just the number now, execution, 9.2 out of a perfect 10. You get the difficulty plus the execution, no penalties there, and the score, 14.6. Best one she's had at the Olympic Games. That's what you want to do. In the second event for her, the uneven bars, that is going to be key. This is it. Her entire performance in the all-around rests on this routine. Whatever she does on this event will define her here tonight. Always does that. Puts her hand on her stomach to trickiest combination. Comes right after this here. Got it. Gorgeous. Another combination coming up here down to the low bar and right back up to the high bar. A Little bit of a foreshadowing of the uneven bar final that she'll be up against Nina Derweil. Oh, oh yes. baby. There yeah. you go, Suni Lee. I'd say that one goes to Suni. Got it done. They know it, too. <laughs> that is, and she knew it, too, starting that routine. Her time to say, all right, I'm either going to be in this to the end or I am not, and took full advantage. But look at that height that she got on that first skill. And what makes her so incredible on this event, every single skill is connected back to back to back. If you are a little bit off on one skill, it goes right into the next skill, the next skill, the next skill. They know how important that routine just was. And there is the 15.3 for Suni Lee. Here we go, just the dismount. Two back handsprings into a double twist. There you go. You know, definitely not her best routine here in Tokyo, but she made it through. She's gonna take a deep breath and be glad that one's over. Really had to fight for that, didn't she? Oh, absolutely. There were a number of places where it was Almost all over. See how that number compares, 13.833. And it comes down to this, the last event and what she does on floor exercise, trying to become the fifth straight American gymnast to win this gold medal. And she had to wait forever before that routine on balance beam and now made to wait again on floor. It's so close at the top after three rotations. She needs 13, 4, 6, 6 with this effort now. Better than that number.
pretty darn good. <laughs> this is the moment that she's going to remember no matter what the score is here. Of course, looking back on her competition right now, hoping, crossing her fingers, this that is it is enough. 13.466, better than that, is what she needs to take the lead. Here it comes, 13.7, Suni Lee is the leader in the women's all around. And Brazil has never had an Olympic medal in women's gymnastics. See in a moment if that changes. 13.666, and it's Suni Lee who's in the top spot. She is going to win the Olympic all around gold medal. Welcome to the most exclusive gymnastics club, Suni.